Hey guys, this is a real quick one. We're um, what I'm doing is replicating the white tips that this aircraft had on it. Um, this is our little RV3 stabilizer, all fresh paint. We just shot it yesterday. Now we're putting the color on. Um, so what I did is uh, just to kind of we're gonna kind of show you. This is one of those little secret things, um, but it isn't a secret. It's just old school. Uh, what we did is I went on the tips and I actually took a piece of paper and then taped it on here and then traced where the old pattern was this was out white out here outboard but i traced it with a pen uh all the way along there and then also took some key measurements and whatnot and then i had basically had that on a piece of paper so we're using all we're using is just some tracing paper just so you can get it at the craft store or office supply actually i think i got this at the office supply place nobody uses it anymore back in the old days of carbon and all that stuff they used to use it and then what i'll do is I'll take it and what I'm going to do is let me move the camera and I'll get you a little close up here Okay, so what I'm using is just a little pounce wheel um, They use this for in fact, this is my mom's this is uh, she used to make dresses back when I was a little kid and and uh, Clothes for my uh, brothers and sisters and all that, but this is uh, what they call I believe they call this a pounce wheel It's just a uh, this is hers. There's other kind, but it basically it's a little pointy wheel has lots of little points on it I'll give you I'll put a close-up in here and what we're gonna do is we're just basically going to punch holes in this piece of paper here we're just gonna go along and punch holes in this follow the follow the line and I actually when I'm doing um, I'll actually paint on stars and bars and that kind of stuff and I'll make full-size um, full-size patterns and what that does is that puts a zillion little holes you can't really sit um, but we'll do a uh, we'll get a close up of that show you what that is and then we'll go to we'll go to wide view but that's that's the secret sauce there for that okay then what we'll do is we're just going to tape it back down in place i've got a couple key dimensions i know that this corner of the paper is the corner of the sheet metal here uh, along the trailing edge everything's set i also have a dimension here i put 9.7 for my um where the actual point or apex of the white uh this little white dart is so then what do we do next well normally on a dark surface you know if i'm doing yellow wings or silver or something like that i'll use a basically it's a sock with and they call this pouncing okay and somebody out there in the art world probably will correct me but um basically this is a sock with uh powder in it when i'm doing a dark airplane i normally use blue or red uh construction chalk that you put in a chalk line because this is white I don't have any white chalk, so we're using talcum powder or whatever it is these days. But uh, so if nothing else, this will smell beautiful. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go and pounce. And wh what's happening is what's happening is the chalk is going through the holes. And let's see if it worked. Yep, there's our line right there. And I'll do a, I'll give you a close-up so now what we got is you can see the little dotted line now there's there's powder going all over what we want to do is we want to trace with our tape that silver or that uh, that white powdered line so that's our big trace there hopefully no wind comes along and blows it away but <clears throat> that will be our trace for our plastic tape and then this will get painted white this will get painted red so here we go we'll just do some more taping Now we're going to confirm on this one here we had 9.7 inches to our apex so we've got that so that looks good so that will be our line for masking two or spraying two and then we'll put a little tape here hold it down that's it simple as that that's how you make a uh, line to a pattern Okay, more of the same.
Okay, guys, here we go. We got the dogs wrestling in the background, but it's okay. They're out in the side yard. Other other side of the shop. Two little young knuckleheads playing, I guess, cat and mouse or dog and dog. Hey, quiet. So what we're doing is we're just taking this paper, laying it down. Now on this, I used for a register the back edge of the sheet metal and the edge of the sheet metal. And then I've also got a dimension here, 9.85 to the point of the apex on the uh, the start. So that's what's going on there. I've already got it pounced or perforated or whatever you call it. And then what I'm going to do is just come in here. And you can use any kind of powder you want. Um, I normally use a chalk powder, but my chalk powder is red and you'd never see it. So I'm using this white stuff. You can use white chalk. Uh, I happen to be using talcum powder because that's what I had today. Let's see what it looks like. And there's our line. So then we take this out of the way. Oops. Okay. And I know that this is my point. It's kind of fuzzy here, but I'm not going to lose much going that way. So this is the most important part to match up on our existing elevator. We're going to paint this white so the tape goes on the right side or inboard side. Right to me, left to you. Inboard side there. Then on plastic tape, you can pull the one side. We're going to anchor it there. I just slowly bring it down. That I'm I'm eyeballing vertically down to the perforation, the dots, the dotted line. And then I'm freestyling it to the point right here. And that's it. Cut it off. Okay, guys, that's it. Real simple, um, easy to do, uh, especially if you're doing large pattern. I, when I'm doing stars and bars that are four feet across or something like that, that's the way I do the pattern. Um, I don't get a stencil or anything like that. I'll basically cut my own, use butcher paper. You can use butcher paper. You can use anything you want. I use tracing paper on this stuff because I use that. I had to trace through. If this was brand new, I probably would make my own patterns and I could use butcher paper. But because I'm trying to match up with an existing elevator, I'm using the tracing paper. But um, I've used four foot wide butcher paper, brown craft paper, whatever you call it. Works great. Anyway, just a quick trip, uh, trick. If this is something you think guys think you might uh, enjoy seeing more of, let me know. Um, comment below, like, share, subscribe. If I'm doing it wrong, you let me know because it seems to be working okay for me. Anyway. Get those aircraft going, get those aircraft fixed, go fly yourself. Hang rats, out.